Hey YouTubers, I want to talk to you today about some of the top Cydia apps you can find in Cydia. And number one, uh, I think everybody's already got it. I'm going to uh, start off with Winterboard. And that is where you can get all your tips and tweaks for your themes. And what you do is you go into Winterboard and anything that's on, that's a, that's on top that is activated with a check mark beside it like this. It works on a hierarchy type deal where things above it precede things that are below it. So say there was a icon in uh, an, a particular theme that you like. Say I had I, I Illumine Illumines checked right here. Say I checked that, okay? But say I like this bit MS, SMS icon better. What I would want to do is is put it on top and have my alumine under it. And instead of using the icon for byte SMS in alumine, I will use the one that I have above it because it is on top. So it takes president over the one below it. I, I know that's a little confusing but that's how it works. Alright, moving right on. Uh, another one another one of my favorite apps is going to be, I'm sorry I accidentally hit respring after that. Uh, we may have to restart the camera again if we do. I'll pause it but anyway. The next one is something like Cydia but it is just another uh, place to find apps and tweaks for your phone and that's icy I-C-Y and what that is is just simply just another it's just another store where you, another place where you can find apps and uh, let's see I see I think that's it right there category For some reason or other it's not wanting to boot up Anyway, uh, I'm having a little trouble with it. It's broke down by categories and so on. Uh, but as you can see, I'm having a little trouble with it opening right now. Uh, I don't want to have to reboot my phone and take the camera off. But moving on to the next one. If you like to tweak any of your themes or your icons, iFile is going to be one of the top things that you have to have to, to do that with and what you're going to do is you're going to go into iFile and you're going to go into uh, you're going to go back as far as you can go and what I've done is I've set actually a bookmark that'll take me to my theme list where I need to start each time so here's my theme list right here if there was an icon I like better in one of these, if I were, say I were using, uh, a, whichever one of these I'm using now is the one I have to update. Say I'm using Illumine. So I come down here to Illumine, and I'm going to have to find the uh, the icons in it and replace the, there's the icons folder. And it takes you a second for it to open where there's so many. So I would go in there and I'd copy and paste the one I had found in the other app that I like better I would I would actually rename it in here and I have a video on, on uh, you, another video here that that shows you how to do that so if you want to learn exactly how step by step to do that watch that other video the next one I'm going to show you uh, one of my next top apps would be Facebreak and what that does is it allows you to use your 3G over, I'm sorry, use your FaceTime over a 3G network where before you could only use your th your FaceTime over a Wi-Fi connection. Well, that's not the case now. You can use this FaceBreak. But now, keep in mind, all these apps are for jailbroken phone only. I should have stated that in the beginning. All right, next. If you've seen my, if you've seen how my icons are moving, you can simply set that to to, to so to different ways. That's called barrel, and it sets it under the settings menu also. And right here's barrel, 
and you can you can set it to all of these different ways of how the icons react. If you want them to vertically scroll, uh, like if you want them to move like stairs to the left or to the right, page squeeze is a good one. I like that one. But the the curl is my favorite, and it's just simply a matter of individual preference. And another one I I like is called camera buttons. And you can find all these in the in the city of store. Just simply go in there and do a search. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to turn your volume buttons into camera buttons. So if you if you're like me, it's sort of hard to tap the screen when you're trying to hold the phone on the picture. It just makes it much easier just to use your thumb to take a to take the picture with. Next would be spring to mines. And Spring to mice is so many things. It's probably 50, 50 different tweaks or more rolled into one application. This is the most amazing application in Cydia, in my personal opinion. That's just personal preference now. Uh, and I'm going to categorize the next three apps all in one category, and that's called InfiniBoard, InfiniDoc, and InfiniFolder and it just simply does exactly what it says. It allows you to, to add as many icons as you want to to your board, to your dock, or your folder. So there's no limits on that anymore. Where, the, where you used to on the, uh, rec before you jailbroke your phone, 16 apps was all you could get on a page. Then it kicked you over to a new page. Well, that's not the case anymore. See, now I can, I can scroll that vertically. And on the next page, you can see I have more than 16 apps. I have many, many apps. And if you're looking for some way to remotely control your iPhone on by your computer, uh, the next app is going to be one that you definitely want to get. That's called Vinci, V-E-E-N-C-Y. What that does is it allows you to control your iPhone from your computer. Okay and it's a really neat application. Last but not least, uh, Speed Intensifier that just allows the apps to open quicker. You can probably see that I've got mine set on five. There's actually one setting above that that allows the apps to open quicker. And one that I'm just going to throw out there for everybody, uh, if you like to tweak your backgrounds a whole lot, your wallpapers, Boss Paper is going to be one that you definitely want to check into. And what that does is, a, is it is a way to add different wallpapers to your springboard and they rotate on a cycle based on the amount of time you set it to. You can set the transitions here. Uh, well, it's unavailable. You can set the transitions, you can set the timer, the, the, uh, the length, the time that it stays on the uh, wallpaper stays on the springboard, you can set which one comes next. You can set them in order or you can set them at random. I've got mine at random. That's a really nice tweet, Boss Paper. Check it out. And if you like these, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and come over to iPhone4Noob.com for all the latest tips and reviews. Thanks for watching.